Well, hello, lovely humans. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. I haven't done one of these in like a week or two, so I figured to pick up the camera um, and take you on with us on our day. Right now, it's already actually almost four o'clock, though. <laughs> Millie has had a really hard time napping today, like a truly, truly hard time. So I'm hoping she is down for a really good nap. This kid's all over the place. She'll throw a 30 minute nap out there, like just like 27 minutes, <laughs> you know, not even quite 30. Uh, and then she'll sleep for two hours unpredictable you never know the day you never know which nap you're gonna get or uh, which nap she'll actually like go back to sleep if you can run in and catch her quickly enough quickly enough give her a pacifier so I'm hoping that this is one of those epic naps because her naps today have been not so great um also we are rocking the um gosh is it Sophia Richie flick back bun situation except for my secret is I only do this like super super slick back when I have like a hair mask in so it looks clean, right? It looks like nice, clean girl aesthetic, but truly this is all hair oil. Um, slicking it down and then there's a hair mask in the bun. It, it feels like I'm multitasking, but I'm not. Today's big activity, well currently I'm trying to clean. I'm a little behind on my chore chart this week, so I have got to step up and do some more of my stuff. Uh, for some reason, our house gets really dusty. I don't, I don't know why probably ceiling fans, but it's not like we leave windows open. In fact, it's so hot we haven't opened windows in months. I cannot wait to open windows. I am an open window fiend. I love it. The second I get a cross breeze, I'm running through the house, I'm opening everybody's windows up, blinds are open, windows open, doors open, and like you walk through a house and it like smells better, you know? So we don't have the windows open right now, so I cannot figure out why everything's getting so darn dusty. Maybe it's just the nature of the season. But yeah, I figured I'd say hello, get the vlog started, and I'm gonna toss you into a cleaning time lapse. What I'm doing right now is um, I'm just going around with a dry rag and wiping off flat surfaces. I always dust before I vacuum. My mom taught me to always dust before I vacuum. Um, and because this is a dry, like, terry cloth material, there's, I don't know if you can see, there's some stuff on here. I can kind of wipe this down because it's not wet. And it's now pilling up into something that I can pluck off, right? Or is that something different? That's something different. Okay. For some reason, we've got, just got some dust on here. But if you dust before you vacuum, you can just sweep it all onto the floor and then vacuum it right up. It's genius, right? I love simple cleaning packs. Because why? Why dust after you vacuum? Just do it first. I've got to do some cleaning on these lamps. All right, who's been around since these were made? These are like several years old. If I can go through here and kind of clean this side up. Look at that philodendron just thriving, living her best life. And I think I've only watered this thing like twice. Isn't that insane? Little um, mini syngonium. I think it's a pixie syngonium. Then I've got all that down there that needs to be vacuumed. But before then, our windowsills are the actual worst. I don't know what they were painted with. Everything grabs onto them and our room gets so hot that we still have a little mini air conditioner in the window. So look, even though this is just, it's not even a Swiffer, but it easily grabs dust. Isn't that nice? Because it's just a simple terry cloth material. I, now that I'm showing this to you on camera, this is disgusting. I would like to come in here and proper clean it, but not right now. That's another rule of cleaning day. Do not get off the rails. Do not get distracted by side projects. Do not, do not go on project tangents. I say this because I am notorious for doing just that. So um, it's not the time to deep dive and clean the window unit, no matter how badly I want to. day for linens so I'm grabbing the towel from the master bath the hand towel I should probably
Holy crap, baby. Oh, that's the baby. I should also check Elias's towel. I think we're good because I don't shower in this bathroom. Have I, should, I had, I think I probably should in the very first tour of this house. I don't use the master bathroom and I'm about to show you why. It is so tiny. I swear to you, the shower is tiny. I can't see when I'm in there because the only source of light is over there. So like, goodbye shaved legs, right? Like I can't see in here at all. I mean, it might be the same size as the tub in the kids' bathroom, but this entire bathroom, I can't stand. It makes me claustrophobic. That toilet is super tiny. The toilet seat's really small. <laughs> so uh, this is basically Elias's restroom. He's the only one that uses it. I always use the kids' bathroom because this is just too much for me. But then that does mean that we get like, it's a boy sink, you know? <laughs> we do come in here to use the restroom occasionally when the other one is um, being used. But since it's linen day, I'm grabbing these the hand towels from both bathrooms and running those through the wash, even though, unfortunately, I already did a load of towels, so this probably isn't gonna get done today. Get quiet, because that's her room right there. I've never done a decorated house tour, but I'm thinking maybe we finish a couple projects before we do something like that, because this has been unfinished for mm, almost two years. So I kind of had in my mind that I would like do a tour when it was finished. But here we are. And I'm doing my best to do one load of laundry a day, so I'm not gonna move over the towels um, that I washed. <laughs> Girls are so loud, you know? Move over the towels that I washed earlier. landing zone for all the stuff that needs to go out to the garage and then like just lives here for a long time. Um, but I have all of my Cricut mats. I have all of the, I can pull it out. All of the long ones that I consistently do not know where to put them. And if something doesn't have a home, you can't put it away. So they've honestly just been floating around the office. They've been floating around the family room. They desperately need to be cleaned, like really bad. I don't like cleaning cricket mats. I just always want to buy new ones. Which is that I remembered that I actually have this giant metal bin. This could be the perfect little catch-all for my cricket mats, for my cutting mat, you know, this kind of stuff. This is what I use like my uh, rotary cutter on. It's great. I got gifted a cricket joy for like the minute and a half that I was actually working with Cricut over on my main channel. So I have all of those. The laminating sheets that we got for homeschool stuff that we've never used. You know, super important things. Mejor que nada, no? Not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Um, so I can get this. Hmm. Maybe I could put some Cricut rolls in there as well. But now let's go back to the office in this super groovy container. And uh, I don't have to worry about it shuffling around the family room anymore because although I was still working on like redoing the office, these have just been everywhere. And obviously we've got three dogs, so dog hair is getting all on them. <laughs> so I'm like, we've got to figure out a solution. There we go. Cool. Um, for my next trick, what am I doing next? I really need to keep organizing though. So. So. So I made this tree, what, like a, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago? Um, and in the DIY, I never glued the leaves onto the branches, <laughs> which I thought would be fine. You know, I figured if some fell out, I could simply put them back in until Silas decided to come and shake the tree so the leaves would fall off on purpose. So I've tasked Isabella with helping me because there's still, I mean, the holes still exist. Let's see if this is gonna focus on this one. See, there's like two different holes right there, but there's no leaves in them. There's more up here. <laughs> so, uh, um, now this bag isn't all from this tree, but it's a, it's a generous amount. If it's cut like this, it fell off the tree. So I think I'm kind of doing some design reworking in my head. This tree I've had in the green room 
which is our large family room, for so long. Uh, but I feel like you can't really see it against the green. It doesn't pop as effectively as I'd like it to. So I think I'm gonna do this maybe over here. As long as it doesn't darken this corner too much, I think it'll look really nice. If it gets too dark, I might try it on the opposite corner. You sniffing, Peps? All right, let's move it over. No, tell me. Yeah. Oh no! The dust came off at least. Good. Of what, the fan or the tree? The tree. Ooh, I like it. They need to move over to the right a little bit. Do you like it? I like it. But do you see that how it needs to move over? Yeah. It's just kind of hiding. Yep. I like it. The flag is not a permanent fixture. We threw it up for 4th of July, uh, which was <laughs> almost four months ago and has just stayed there ever since. Um, wait, no, not four months ago. July, August, September, t almost three months ago. Math is uh, my favorite. Speaking of which, I have art that I gotta figure out what we're doing here, as well as I have already picked out the artwork that I want for both sides of the TV. I have it ready to go. I just can't hang it by myself. Well, I guess I could. Been waiting on Elias to do it with me. So I'd like to see that done. Also, it just looks so much cleaner in this room when the doors are shut. It'll never cease to amaze me how blue green it looks on camera. This is more of the true green that it is. Even in person, it does not look that blue. That's wild. minutes since I've done any plant content on this channel because I kind of gave up on my plants. <laughs> it was a lot. Moving here with so many of them and then having everyone home all the time, I like felt guilty tending to my plants. As opposed to like when the kids would go to school and Elias went to work, but didn't. I'd spend like an hour dealing with my plants every single week. So I feel like I kind of went into a headspace, a bad headspace, and I lost quite a few of them. I got Spider mites I got, scale I got. Um, Do we get fungus gnats? Probably not, because I didn't water them enough to, to get fungus gnats. So I have uh, considerably downsized my collection, but today I was walking around kind of dealing with them and watering them, obviously. I'm bot bottom watering those because they are very, very dry. So I want them to sit in water for as much as possible to soak up. Um, the soil has now become hydrophobic, which means it cannot absorb any more water. It's literally afraid of water. That's what hydrophobic means. So I'm trying to let the sponge of the soil rehydrate um, by keeping those five in there. Hopefully that will help. But it has to come up like at least a third of the way up the side of the pot in order to be effective for bottom watering um, for something like this, especially when they are that dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those to sit there. Look at this glorious snake plant. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that tree in that corner. I think it works. I was worried it'd be too dark. I think it definitely works. Now, I have got some fall stuff that I wanna really get out, like I wanna decorate with. But one thing I've been trying to do is I'm trying to make myself wait for rewards. So decorating with fall stuff sounds like a very fun thing to do. But what I actually need to do is I need to sit down and grade the girls' first unit of language arts this year. The Good and the Beautiful has an eighth grade program, 
but it's not really, it's like, you just read, I'm sure there's more to it than this, but it's not a fully comprehensive language arts like the previous years have been. This year, it's, if we did eighth grade through the good and the beautiful, it would just be like, they do book studies the whole year. And while I love reading and I love books, I wanted a little bit more for them. So they actually started their freshman year this year, which they love bringing up in conversation. <laughs> They're like, we're doing freshman stuff. Um, that's been interesting. It's been a, a change for sure. I feel like this is much more independent and they actually were supposed to turn in their unit work to me, which they did not do. It's okay, we'll give grace. It's okay, we'll give grace, it's the first time. But they were supposed to turn it in yesterday. So in order, that was on the ground, that would hurt. Um, in order to be able to decorate for fall, more than just the Harry Potter stuff in this room, I am going to make myself, make myself edit their stuff to make sure they answered things correctly, um, or to the best of their abilities, go through for spelling errors, which will probably take me a little bit. Oh, and when I thought the baby was awake earlier, she was not awake, so. Huzzah. So now I'm gonna see how much of this I can get through before she actually wakes up. Remember when I said I was gonna decorate for fall after I created those? I was going to. So for now it's 5.45. Elias and Silas went to a jujitsu class. Um, Elias started going to it for the first time this week and absolutely loved it. And on Friday afternoons they have, they invite kids to come. Um, and so they were a little late to it. So I thought it'd be done already, but they haven't seemed to have left yet. Um, I love location sharing with my husband because he is the worst at telling me whenever he's going to come home. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm actually going to get the cheese grated for um, for dinner tonight. Just get that going because that's the part that takes the longest. So I might, yeah, I'm going to go the cheater way. I'm going to actually um, use the cheese grater attachment on my KitchenAid mixer because I do not want to hand grate like two cups of mozzarella. Or actually it's probably gonna end up being more. I don't I don't want to. Although this does have to be hand washed, but that's the perks of having children, right? What? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean yes. <laughs> and Amelia did wake up while I was grading that, but the girls have figured out this hack that if they offer to watch the baby for me, I will let them watch TV. It's like uninhibited screen time and like go for it. Go with the Lord. So um, Olivia actually heard her crying in her room from down the hall and was like, the baby's awake. And I was like, I know, I just haven't got her yet. So she ran and grabbed her for me. And they're hanging out and they're probably watching anime because we're raising total nerds and I love it. But it buys me a little bit of free time to not hold the baby. They get to chill, they're loving it. Um, Millie's tended to, and it's a win-win for everybody. Oh, I gotta put laundry away. Alderdash, this is just a, this is a clean and declutter with me video. I've decided. We're probably like 15 minutes into the recording for you guys, but I've just decided the title. If you haven't seen this attachment, I love it. I absolutely love it, especially if we're doing a lot of cheese at once. It just attaches right on the front. Get the back a little. Oh, I need a bowl. Let's move you a little further back. You uh, cut blocks of cheese and then press them through using this. Um, and then you get yourself grated cheese, it's fantastic. It is a pain in the rear to clean because every single part of this in is hand wash. But when we're doing pizza night, I like it all to be as ready as possible and then this is still just get washed later because it's really the only dish that we're getting dirty other than the cookie sheets. Here's the cheese. <laughs> Do you need me to move? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> and here. Oh my gosh. Have one more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. She's Sometimes. trying to make her mochi. Oh my goodness, there's so much rice flour <laughs> and cornstarch, which I loathe cleaning up. But that's okay, because you're going to, right? Yes. Y'all heard it first. Here, folks. Okay. Um, these are the toppings we normally put on there. I just called Elias. The kids like Hawaiian pizza, which I, we've gone over this. Y'all know how I feel. So we've got pineapple chunks for the kids. He's picking up um, Canadian bacon. We've got large chunks of pepperoni. These are probably too big. So we'll cut those up. This is the pasta sauce that we use, or sorry, pizza sauce that we use from HEB. We go through probably like a jar and a half of this every time we make these. 
mushrooms naturally because mushrooms are the best um, but I will probably be the only one putting them on my pizza tonight mozzarella from Azure Standard you saw the huge block that we get in or you actually might not have seen it in that last clip we get it in five pound blocks because we go through so much of it um, jalapenos for Elias and I I was gonna cook up mushrooms but I forgot that I had these already cooked and then I have just some roasted veg that I was gonna use for another meal but that we haven't used yet it looks extremely unappetizing but it's actually quite good and then a bit of um, goat and cow cheese. So technically this is chevra and bovra, in case we want to sprinkle some of that on top. So now I just need to get a few more ingredients. I know Elias likes to put olive oil and basil. What am I missing? Maybe some artichoke hearts. Ooh, artichoke hearts. And we totally cheat and use these. Oh, <laughs> I gave him a jar with a little bit of leftover yogurt and I, put the two females in there. So he just feels like he is a king at the moment. I know I could probably make my own flatbread for pizzas, but um, I'm not going to. Not tonight, maybe another time. So we tend to grab these, the girls will each eat. So these are two packs. So the girls will each eat a whole one of these and Elias and I will, because our girls love food. And then for Silas, wow, we need to go grocery shopping. Look at that, that looks bare. We actually do it on these little non circles and he eats about three of them. So it's perfect that that's the amount we have left. We, <laughs> we only have a little bit of grapes and some baby carrots. And the rest is pretty slim pickings, which is funny because I went to the grocery store like a week ago, but I didn't, I guess I didn't buy that much. It was one of those trips where you like spend a bunch of money and you're like, what did I buy? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's time. I've got dinner stuff all prepped. You good? <laughs> it is time to get some fall stuff out. So first order of business, you know I love reusable paper towels and we have these lemon ones that actually I've probably had for like, I don't know, six or so. He's hot. I don't know, quite a few years now. But I rotate out um, for fall. I've got these, this one's like all sorts of wrinkled. Are you okay? It's hot. Oh my goodness. Um, so it's got pumpkins and gourds and sunflowers. Why am I showing you a wrinkled one? But I have two patterns. So um, I'm going to take those off and put the new ones on. Let's see. Go through what I've got going on over here. So we already pulled some out for Harry Potter night. This is, oh, the boxes for the fog machines, and then these I had on the counter, on the table for Harry Potter night as well, but I pulled them off because I wasn't ready to style it. Let's put that in there. This is more Halloween stuff, or Dia de los Muertos. So we've got a couple kissing, because he actually got married on Halloween. And then there's a couple on that too. I think my mother-in-law got both of those for us. But spider webs, we don't need this right now. Hello, sweet friends. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Look at this pattern, I love this. It's so pretty. It's very much like late 90s, early aughts. Like, definitely belongs on a couch and a matching love seat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but it just makes my heart so happy. And we've got napkins that actually, I don't think most of the orange napkins made it back into this bin. I think they're still with our regular everyday cloth napkins. This, I hate this thing. I should donate this. Why do I still have it? Every time, every year I pull it out, I'm like, I don't like you. It's the, it's the purple, to be honest. I don't know why this book ended up here. But then, this is how I wrap. Um, oh, that's funny. I don't recall how. When do we get these? It's like, it's like I'm opening up something new every single year. <laughs> but it's not new. I will wrap candles and fragile pumpkins in um, like this. See how this is all wrapped up in this right here? In either my fall napkins or my fall reusable paper towels or various stuff like that. So this, oh yes, I love this little one. You see how I layered this in here? <laughs> so as it's being moved around, um, oh, I forgot these guys. See, who needs new stuff every single year when you can just forget what you had last year? and then just get excited about it all over again. <gasps> Isabella, what? fall mugs. Fall mugs, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, what is this one? Oh, 
I don't like this saying, except for on this mug. Look, it's huge. Look it, look it, do you know how much coffee could fit in there? Huh. Enough to make me happy. Huh. What else is in here? Okay, wait, I'm getting off the tracks. Mmm, <gasps> my little appetizer plates. Ugh. You guys know when my voice gets weird, I get ex it's because I'm excited. What's this one? Ooh, this is a good one. It's simple, right? Gets the job done. Why am I unboxing this over here? I'm literally hunched over it like a, a bridge troll. <laughs> Just squirreling pieces away. <laughs> Maybe I should go take it to the kitchen table and properly. Oh, unbox it there. That would make more sense. How's it going? Is it hot? Hot. 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 <laughs> I'm so happy. I love fall. Are you also happy? Is that why you're jumping? Yes. She's, she's trying to roll out the mochi dough, but she microwaved it according to the directions and now it's burning her fingies. It's warm. It's warm. <laughs> Pause the <laughs> rude. Uh, I forgot about all these bats. <laughs> oh, I made these last year with my cricket, and then we tried taping them up with just just tape, and it didn't go well. So my mom gave me this. Oh my gosh, what did she call it? It's like a an art clay where you can break off a piece, and it's super tacky. So then I can attach those to the wall. Sir, do you need help? That's, I'll take that to know. So here is just what's in this bin. I've got the cute little, oops, appetizer plates that I actually use as like um, trinket trays in the bathroom, like where I'll take off my rings to wash my hands or whatever. I've got a larger one. I never know what to do with this, ever. <laughs> a table runner, napkins, more napkins. Um, that I'll probably need to iron out because they were used to protect these ceramic pumpkins that I love, 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 love. I bought these at Target a couple years ago. Um, and I think they just, I honestly like the look of them. They're almost a little cartoonish in comparison to some of my, like these are like a, a woven grass actually with a twig coming out. I just like the mix of textures. And then I think we got these at Goodwill. I don't know why we have them. And then the fuzzy pumpkins that lasted a long time until we got these dogs and now they chew on them. Huh. What? For some reason the dogs like chewing on these. Oh, we don't. We don't know why. So we're down to, th oh, four. Five. Oh, it's, no, okay, we still got six. We still got six. I think we started with like 20 though. So, you know. But Olivia has been sweetly caring for the baby this entire time. Let me double check what time it is. Millie's been awake for about an hour and a half and I have not held her since she woke up. So I probably need to grab her and feed her, give Livy a bit of a break. So unfortunately, I've just made a mess and now I have to leave it, which I try really hard not to do when I think about it. Sometimes I do it accidentally. What are you laughing about? Uh, there's, there's a memory that came to mind. What memory came to mind? <laughs> Nothing. Will you tell me if I turn the camera off? And don't say anything. Okay. Oh no, I'm so sorry, you're so sad. Look at this outfit though. It's so cute. We got it off Amazon. It's organic cotton. Hi. She's like, hold me mother. It's got a pocket for all of her things. Huh? Yes. And even though she's only four months, this is for six to nine months and she's filling it out nicely. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You want mama to hold you? Are you hungry? She's like, stop asking me questions I can't answer and pick me up. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Thank you, my love. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you. Show them what you did. Well, I was this baby. Flatbreads and pizza, pizza sauce and cheese. Raw cheddar cheese. Mozzarella. Not raw mozzarella. Normal mozzarella, not, or not normal. Unnormal, pasteurized 
mozzarella because we don't have raw mozzarella and ham and uh, pineapple because that's what the kids like. Mm -hmm. Did you forget how to walk? Canadian bacon and pineapple. Yes, I did. A little bit. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Elias, what do you put it in at? Uh, 425. For how long? Until uh, it's done. Until it's done. Excellent, excellent advice. Until the cheese melted and the crisp, the crisp was a little brown. The crust is a little crispy. She does this like walking dead noise. <laughs> She, she sounds. She sounds like a walker. Just. Uh, but I fed her, and I was hoping that she'd go down for a nap, but she just was not having it. But usually after 6 p.m., naps are subjective. Like whether it's gonna happen or not is a toss-up. But she'll probably be down for the night at like 8:30, 9 o'clock, which is in an hour and 15 at the earliest. Hi. Are you enjoying your friend's pepper? Don't lick her face. Okay. Oh, I can't squat down. Hi. Hello. What you doing, Moose? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, gosh. Oh, now here comes the last one. Cheapers, why do we have so many? To oh, I think I know why she didn't fall asleep. You working on something? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Three of you are nuts. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Billy. Hi, baby. Are you flying? <laughs> Look at those legs. <laughs> They're bigger than your wrists. <laughs> you look glorious, my love. Are you flying, Millie? Goodness, she's so thick. Move your left hand for a sec, your left arm. Look at that leg. Okay. And scene. It's about that time of the evening where I go around, start shutting everything down, and I try to do at least one thing every night that will make my morning easier the next morning. Just like whatever it happens to be, it could be, you know, as complicated, so to speak, as loading up the dishwasher and getting it ready to go off overnight. We always say blast it off. <laughs> we blast off the dishwasher. Um, and I'm slowly just doing a couple chores at night. So it started off with just loading the dishwasher. If I could just get it loaded and get it set to go off, then we'd wake up to fresh dishes clean in the dishwasher. It almost, it's like I'm doing work in my sleep. But when I got down to a science and the kids started helping, uh, the next step was clearing off the countertop. So I'd have the dishwasher done and the countertop cleared off so it's ready to like look nice in the morning. Now, not the entire countertop, but some of it. Um, so now, the kids are helping with that. So now that's getting down to a little bit more of a science. So I look forward to adding like one more thing. There is almost nothing like a clean kitchen after a hard day's work. There is almost nothing like waking up to a clean kitchen. Oh, sometimes I'll prep my coffee. I'll like grind my coffee the night before, get the water set up, and then all I have to do is press like, just go. Go with your bad self in the morning. That's what the button's called, go with your bad self. Um, or, uh, if I know what time I'm gonna wake up, I can set the alarm for it. But little Miss's sleep schedule is still very erratic. So if you're trying to get more on top of house stuff, try just doing one thing at night, just one, to make your morning a little bit easier. I promise you never regret waking up to a clean kitchen. Well, probably won't regret waking up to a clean kitchen or having your coffee ready or having your counters cleared off. So instead of throwing you into a time lapse to clean this off, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of organizing um, and cleaning with me today. The house needed it, my soul needed it, and I know we've been talking about it a lot over on Instagram, and you've been pretty interested in coming along the journey with me as I'm like reclaiming my house. We're getting it back. Having a baby is hard. Getting your life back on track after having a baby is very hard. 
very hard, but with implementing a little bit. Oh, I hate when sponges are left wet. But by implementing a little bit of work every single day, it actually makes the load seem a lot lighter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, jump on down there, hit that like button, and subscribe to this channel where you hang out and we clean stuff. Not all the time. This is not a cleaning channel. Those are very satisfying, but I lack the mental fortitude. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>